Homeowners all across the country run into issues with squatters. States are racing to close legal loopholes that have unintentionally created the problem, which can see property owners dragged into months-long eviction battles that can cost them a ton of money. Squatting showdowns in cities like New York and L.A. have brought the issue to the forefront, and lawmakers are now taking action. Correspondent Alex Capriello joins us live. Alex, with the latest in this fight over squatting. Yeah, good morning to you, Nicole. Georgia, the latest state to pass new squatting laws, a move that's being praised by landlords and real estate agents who have seen the housing market decimated since the pandemic. The new legislation provides legal protections and a course of action for homeowners whose properties have been illegally occupied by men and women looking to take advantage of those loopholes that allow them to take ownership of a space without any proper paperwork. States like Texas, Oklahoma, and Ohio have all had massive problems with squatters taking over these houses units and claiming it as their own. In Georgia, state house candidate Mel Keaton claims his $450,000 Atlanta home was taken over by squatters not once but twice, calling it the worst criminal activity he's ever seen in his entire life. But no state has been impacted more than New York, where an influx of undocumented migrants have commandeered vacant homes. What we're seeing here is uh, what I call the holy trinity of problems. We have a housing crisis, we have a migrant crisis, and we have a cost of living crisis here in New York. Uh, with those three things coupled together and no real solutions presented to the table, uh, people will find alternative forms of housing. There was a reason that squatter laws were put in place. And, you know, I think people are starting to exploit what some of those reasons are. And I always get concerned, you know, your largest investment is your home. That's your largest investment. The nation are working to enact their own sets of laws to speed up this eviction process and amplify penalties for criminal squatters. Take a look at this map. Each state in America has some form of housing law requiring a person to live on a property for a certain amount of time before they can legally take ownership. But how and when those laws are enforced differ greatly from state to state, with some police departments not legally allowed to actually enter a home and forcefully remove those occupants. And instead, landlords are forced into lengthy eviction battles in courts. And as you know, Nicole, those legal battles can take months, even years to play out in the backlogged court system all across America. So in the meantime, those squatters can continue to live freely in that home that they now claim is their own. Yeah, and, and that's a lot of those homeowners. All right, Alex, thank you. We want to take you live. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.